So guys, are you ready for this video? The most awaited video. The video that we are showing you today is a house tour of a townhouse style house. And this beautiful townhouse house comes with a three bedroom and two bathroom. A very cute little house for a, for a perfect family of three to four. So let's show you everything with the and tell you the expenses, what it comes with and what exactly was the purchase price when, when the owner bought this house. Let's go along. So hello and welcome to another video guys. Today as Neha said we'll be showing you a taking you in in this little townhouse. It's a beautiful perfect starter home for a family of three or four and before I take you inside I'm gonna take you to the garage and it, it does come with this one car garage which is not attached to the house but it has you gotta walk a few steps down to the back of this house for the garage it's very spacious we'll take you down there first and then we're gonna go inside in this beautiful townhouse this townhouse is a perfect size for a small family it comes with a one single car garage like you can see one behind me right now and and see this single car garage is very spacious to even park a, 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 an SUV or a minivan as well. And if you come inside, it's it has a drywall framing done. So there is it's an insulated drywalling done. And it, it stays really warm when the garages are built together. Like I said, there are four houses that are built together. And similarly, all the garages are attached and they share a wall too. So it really keeps the, the garage really warm. So you don't need a, a garage heater in these kind of garages. Very spacious. They got some racks built in. So you can leave your extra stuff in the garage and park a vehicle. And generally this is, the, this is what happens when you park a wet car in the garage. So you got to sweep it out every now and then. So yes, yeah, so this is what the garage looks like. Let's take you down to the inside in the house now. So guys, like you see here, this is the entrance of the house. So it has a small patio furniture where you can sit and relax in summertime and gives you a feeling that you're not stuck in a high rise building. So let's get inside. And Hello. Hey. So guys, uh, as soon as you come into the house, there is a small cute little entryway area. And it comes with a beautiful a little window here that gives you quite a bit of sunlight so it's a nice perfect entryway and it's a high rise like you see it's quite nicely um, a very heighted nice roof so that gives you again the luxury and the feeling of a standalone bungalow and this house comes with a bi-level uh, kind of a style which means there is one bathroom, one bedroom and one living room upstairs and there is downstairs uh, two bedroom and a bathroom and a laundry area which we'll take you along right now. So let's start looking at this house. come upstairs there are about four and five steps and then you come up to a beautiful kitchen come dining area at the same time a beautiful living area so this is this is called in Canada an open style kitchen which means your kitchen and your living room is combined and you can keep a watch at if you have little kids and it gives you an edge to actually spend a lot of family time together and you're not left out in your kitchen room so very beautiful concept at the same time this is a kitchen area which is very spacious like you see there are lots and lots of cabinets um, which are inbuilt and comes with about three appliances three to four appliances here which means this is a dishwasher it comes with a stove and comes with a refrigerator and a, a inbuilt microwave here and overhead so which means it came along with all of these appliances when 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 the owner first buys the house so uh, at, 
and again it saves you the money to buy the appliances in canada these are the basic appliances that do come in a kitchen area and like you see it is um, it is a glass stuff kitchen top which means it is a very beautiful the most trendy and the most latest style of of a of a stuff that it comes along with then you come around and then you come with a small dining area which is perfect for a decent size dining table that you see here it's quite spacious like you see here and opens the door to a patio here which gives you fresh air in where in summer time just open the patio door enjoy your family time you can put out a barbecue if you want and at the same time a very beautiful um space to sit like a balcony that opens up right now they have removed everything for the patio furniture however it you can still accommodate a decent four size table and chairs along with it like you see guys it is very brightly lit the door at the same time there is a window here which again gives you uh, quite a bit of sunlight in summer time and winter time it is a big it is the sun facing side so this house is a big plus now let's move on to the living room area the living room area easily accommodates 6 to 7 people like you see it is quite spacious even after putting together a five seater furniture at the same time coffee table and a big size a uh, 60 inch tv so you can see how big of this living room it is so once you see you must be thinking is there a combination of four to five windows no this is actually a big lighted window which will sh which show you in a second here So like you see guys it comes with a window covering which means it comes with a blind a treatment a curtain rod which obviously is a plus point when you buy a pre-owned house if you buy a new brand house this is something that the owner has to invest and the builder doesn't necessarily give you these features which is a plus point when you buy a pre-owned house so and these are one of the top notch hunter douglas blinds which is quite high if you if you think about putting all together in your house cost you about 1000 to 1200 dollars easily so again a plus point which you get when you buy a pre owned house so this is a beautiful nice window covering that the owner got when they first bought the house so guys this is the main level area you must be wondering that they have lot of storage area but the they also have an accommodation of a beautiful pantry here um the owner has made this into a pantry however you can make this make this to either a a coat a coat closet anything that you, that's functional for you so let's go along further in the house and i will show you a very nice feature of this house which is a a very nice cute little guest bedroom in a house uh it can it can be a guest bedroom or a slash play area or it can be uh any recreational office room anything because it's a small room it's not a full master bedroom so like you see it comes along with a closet and a window covering a very nicely brightly lit window the the very functional and a uh, very handy feature of this house is there is a bedroom upstairs So guys if you have seniors in your home or if you have a uh, kids or if you want to just take a break and not go downstairs in your daily day to day business it is a very functional feature of having a room upstairs usually many houses don't come with this feature which means uh, many houses don't give you the option of having a full bathroom and a room upstairs it's usually only the living room and a, a common living room and a kitchen and a dining area and then you have to go down stairs or upstairs usually for your other bedrooms so again a very plus point for having this kind of a townhouse so now let's take you to the bathroom there is a bathroom upstairs here which is again a full piece very beautiful bathroom um and a full size tub at the same time comes with a beautiful vanity here um with again lot of storage space so a uh, very nicely done
सो गाइस कैसा लगा आपको घर आई एम श्योर इट गिवस अ वेरी रिफ्रेशिंग फीलिंग बिकॉज इट इज अ वेरी वेन वी स्टार्टेड आर लाइफ वी स्टार्टेड आर लाइफ विद अ वेरी सिमिलर काइंड ऑफ अ टाउन हाउस एंड इट इज वेरी अफोर्डेबल विच वील डिस्कस इन फ्यू मिनट्स हेयर एज टू वट वॉट इट एक्चुअली कॉस्टेड अस ऑन अ मंथ टू मंथ बेसिस सो लेट्स टेक यू डाउन स्टेट्स फर्स्ट एंड शो यू द रेस्ट ऑफ द हाउस एंड देन यू एंड देन विल टॉक अबाउट नंबर हेयर सो गाइज लेट्स गो डाउन स्टेट्स एंड शो यू द रेस्ट ऑफ द हाउस हेयर ंगडरूम and on my left here you must be wondering what is this this is actually a a door to a com to a bathroom which is attached to the master bedroom it's called jack and jill which means it has two doors it has one door right which which is accessible to somebody who is living right behind um that room here which is a which can be your kids room or any other room and then somebody a guest or somebody who if they come at your place and you don't want them to enter into your bedroom they can always access the downstairs bathroom with this common door so it can be shut when you don't need it but obviously it's a very add on feature so now as you walk here inside the room it's a beautiful very spacious master bedroom it's a very brightly lighted a uh, window here a huge size window like you can see on my left here so guys like you see when you talk about the space you would see oh well can we have a be- uh, a a big size bed here yes of course you can have a king which is the biggest size of the bed size you get in canada or a queen size which is right now here that you see a very decent size at the same time you can accommodate two side tables in this area as well and you still have a huge walking space still on either side of the bed so and on on that wall you can have a tv or anything and it gives you a perfect cozy nice little room here so guys like you see it's a it's a it's a beautiful brightly lighted window however it is also a sun facing like i said so it keeps your room very warm in winter like we mentioned few minutes ago it comes with the window covering which means you don't have to spend the money to install the blinds here blinds are comes with the curtain rods it it came along with the house when when the owner bought the house so again a very plus point when you buy a pre owned house uh, which comes anything that is mounted to the walls comes with the house that is the thumb rule when you go and see a house so they don't remove fixtures like a tv mount or a curtain rod or a window blinds anything that is affixed to the walls actually usually comes in the agreement when you buy the house so right behind me like you see there's a there's a walk-in closet a walk-in closet is something where you can probably just walk inside the closet and have ample amount of space which you see there are tons and tons of shelves on both the sides of this closet it's equally like a small den a very beautiful again um, comes with lot of shelves that were already pre-installed by the owner so again a plus point like i say uh, we are a big lover of buying a pre-owned house because we are not that handy man and bahut aasan ho jata hai when you actually think about it uh, you it's basically a ready to move in house So guys again like I showed you uh, when we were in the entry way downstairs there was a bathroom so let's look at the bathroom a very decent size bigger than the upstairs bathroom a full size tub and uh, other stuff that it comes with it comes with a beautiful vanity again and uh, gives you ample amount of space under the vanity at the same time you can have ample space here to hang your stuff and what not 
so guys let's go further in the house which is the last bedroom of the house which is again can be your guest bedroom or anything you would like to make up with so guys this is actually a very decent size room i think few inches smaller than the master bedroom but actually very quite spacious in terms of putting a bed like a queen size bed with a dresser or even side tables the owner right now has made this into an into an office um but again it can be a functional bedroom bigger size bedroom than the upstairs room that you just saw so again a decent size bedroom with a beautiful lighted window and uh, obviously a huge uh, closet compared to the upstairs room so again uh, the owner has is using this for more like their for for storing their their clothes their seasonal stuffs and jackets so it's very handy again you can make this either in your kids room or you can make this into an office uh, whatever you wish to do we apologize for the mess a little bit some boxes here so manu actually thoda sa apna uh, side business karta hai so he actually has lot of buy and sell stuff so he needs the packing materials right here but other than that it's a good functional bedroom that you can make use of any time so guys this is all about this house however there are few other things that just will just take you and explain you more in detail uh, like the one that's right behind me is the heart of the house which just will explain you here in a second han ji 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 apna gyan bataiye hame gyan ki koi baat nahi this room that you are seeing behind me the technical aspect of this house every house in canada comes with one room where you have all the technicalities and connections be it an electrical mechanical furnace heat laundry and all the all the technicalities of the house and it like neha said it is the heart of every house so let's take you in and show you what all stuff is in there so like you can see there is washer and a dryer and then on the top of these you will see this little thing here that's called vanity this is vanity this is an air exchange system so what it does is it's connected to the vents outside the house in the front it takes it intakes the fresh air in the house and then circulates by moving the stale or out from the house and then after laundry and vanity there is an electrical box and it has all the connections to the electric outlets that are in this house but then the most important part is oh the, there is another one one thing that i want to show you before we go to the furnace is this thing this is a water heater and it actually works on sask energy like the energy here is the natural gas natural gas is provided by the company here called sask energy so it uses the natural gas and and then uses the gas to convert or to warm up the water and stores the water too so the hot water that circulates around the house comes through here and after that another thing that you have to take care of is this this thing here this is a furnace it's a big heater you can say so this is the stuff that you cannot survive without in uh winter time this is something which circulates the warm air throughout the house it also uses the natural gas these are the filters these are called the air filters that are put in the furnace and they should be changed every couple months based on the usage and uh, uh, so every furnace filter has a specific size so see how this town house gives you a feel of an actual house and at the end there is an extra it's the storage area underneath the stairs which can be used to put all your extra stuff in this is like, like harry potter's uh, movie where harry, where... yeah harry potter used to sleep in there <laughs> right so this is a cellar you can say and then this area goes all the way across to the back too so that's about it this is all the house was and now let's talk about the finances and what the cost of this house was and how much does it take for you to spend on this kind of house every month to hum baithe hue hain bade aaram se ab mummy papa ke ghar mein manu ke ghar manu ke office mein so uh, i am very thankful that he let us show you, show this house to you guys so guys hope you liked it now just we'll talk about the numbers with you so guys what do you think this house is going to be 
If it was Ontario or Toronto, this house was easily six six hundred thousand dollars or five hundred thousand dollars. Easily, you will be amazed and blown away when you hear the price of this house. The this house costed my brother. He bought it a couple years ago. It was around two hundred and fifty thousand yeah. dollars. So so it's not at all expensive. It is very easy to buy since these kinds of houses. The minimum down payment that you have to do is about five percent of the purchase price. And then th see, this is as we mentioned before. It's a condo. It's like a not an apartment. It's it is a four houses or a four condo units grouped together, and they are called four plexes, right? And uh, so you pay a condo fee. Condo fee is around 200, 250 bucks, depending on what all services you get. But the good thing is the you don't have if you're living in a condo, it's managed by the property management. You don't have to pay to get your landscaping done. The condo fee includes all your services like uh, uh, snow removal, landscaping, and it also covers your water bill. So in these kind of houses, you do not pay your water bill, which is easily hundred dollars a month. Or even more if it's summertime when you turn the sprinklers on and when Neha ji, because she likes lots of gardening. They I do love lo lush green grass. Grass and all. So you keep that when you turn those sprinklers on in the summertime, those really cost a lot of money. So living in this kind of a house, you can save that. Many people will say, why would, would you buy a condo when you have to pay a condo fees? But sometimes you fail to understand that. You only pay 200 to two. If you only pay 200 to 300 dollars condo fees, you are in a good deal because having your own standalone bungalow is going to cost you more because you you will be paying extra for your uh, water bill and for your insurance. 200 or 300 dollars condo fee. Your house insurance, the outer structure insurance, is all covered. And so all you got to pay here in this kind of house is Sask energy bill your sask power bill and that's it and you can choose to buy your own insurance to cover the belongings inside the house that's it so it's very easy to afford great starter home good thing is it's by level so you can have a bedroom uh, downstairs and you can do watch tv or do whatever upstairs so the another thing that you have to pay every month is a property tax property tax is dependent on the size of your lot or or the plot or you can say the area that you are covering so so this kind of house uh, the property tax is around 2400 bucks which is you can either pay yearly there is no discount to make a one payment uh, yearly or you can divide that money time like by 12 and pay it monthly so about 200 dollars is what you pay as a property tax. So when you talk about the, the total expense, the mortgage of this house will be about $1,000, which is, again, you can see it's it's close to what you pay out for rent. Exactly. So why paying for rent when you can easily afford right. a house provided you have that 5% minimum down payment right. towards the house? Also, this, uh, this mortgage payment of $1,000 is going to give you more space of what you're going to get in $1,100 a month of rent of a two-bedroom apartment. Yeah. Right. So you pay $1,000 uh, mortgage, $200 condo fees, which is $1,200. And then you pay 60 to $70 on Sask Energy, again, $80 SAS Power, and then you pay $200 property tax. So this, these are all the total expenses that you have to be bear when you are in this kind of a house setting, which is not bad at all. So yes, this is it guys. I hope you like this video. If you like it, then we will bring you more of these kind of videos and inform you of everything that happens in this side of the world. And uh, also, our video doesn't get completed with one small thing here. Oh, here she is. Our Lado. So, where are you from? Dadadi Gegar. Yes, she's very happy. Dadadi Gegar is here. So guys, that's about it. Hope you guys liked our video. And if you liked our video, do uh, subscribe, give it a big thumbs up, share it with your friends. Aya <laughs> knows the speech. Thank Anyways, you. guys, thanks for watching. Thank Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.